name is Chan Jivarwinski, and I'm an applications engineer for Go Engineer. And today I want to show you how to synchronize your routing library so you can automatically use custom components here in SOLIDWORKS. Now here we can see in the routing library database, this is located under the C drive, program data, SOLIDWORKS, your SOLIDWORKS version, design library, and routing. When looking at my pipes folder, you can see that I've added a custom PVC pipe. I've created this because I use PVC in my house and I want to make sure that I use that when I'm designing pipe routes for my house here in SOLIDWORKS. Now when you open up this folder, you will only see the pipes.sldprt. And we've shown you how to create custom routing components in a previous video. You can see how to do that in the description below. Now in order to synchronize this data to my routing library, I need to go into Tools, Routing, Routing Tools, and Routing Library Manager. And this is going to open up the Routing Library Manager. And what I'm going to do is I want to create a new uh, Route Properties template. Now we've previously also shown you how to create a Route Properties template. So we won't be going through the steps there, but if you want to see that video, please click on the link below and you'll be able to find that. So I'll just come in here, choose which one I want to start off with, and I'll copy it. And I'm going to create and label this as a PVC pipe. That way I know that I'm working with PVC pipes. Now, when I come down here to look at the pipe, notice that it's still just referring to the pipe.sldprt. I want to make sure that I can utilize that PVC pipe. So I need to click on the ellipsis icon. And when doing that, what this will do is this will give me a complete list of all of the different pipe options that I have within the software. And if I go to search this filter for a file name, if I try to type in PVC, notice that it comes up blank. And that's because as of right now, I haven't synchronized my database to account for my PVC pipe being located in the same file location. So in situations like this, what I need to do is I need to make sure that I synchronize my database so that it recognizes this information. What I'll do now is I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to save this current template that I can come back in and modify afterwards. That way I don't have to go through the setup again. So it's saved. And in order to synchronize the database, what we need to do is we need to click on this piping and tubing database. And here we see the same list. Um, but if we want to actually synchronize the data and import anything that it might not recognize, we need to come over here to the left and click on import data. And we should see that it recognizes that there's a new part that's been put into the database. So what we want to do is we will click on synchronize and let the software automatically go through and synchronize the data. Um, you do have to have SOLIDWORKS open in order for this to run um, because this just opens up the file and closes it up to make sure that it is a working file within the software. But once you're done, you can click on exit. And now what I'll do is I'll filter real quick to make sure that it's added it to the database by typing in PVC. And I can see that I get a complete list of all of the different uh, configurations that I have built in with the PVC properties within my PVC part file. And these are all just various different configurations um, built within the same part file itself. So now that I see that, I'll click on the route properties tab and let me make sure I'm modifying the PVC pipe. And when I click on the ellipsis, I can now filter and search for that PVC pipe again. And when we look at that, we can see that the database is showcasing it. And I'll just choose which one I want and accept that component and click Save. Now I can leave the Routing Library Manager open or I can close it out. Um, I'm actually finished with it, so I'll just close it out right now. But let's see what happens when we start a new route. So I'm going to drag in a flange. I'll choose my configuration. Now you do need to make sure that you choose a configuration that has it built in to match the pipe. Um, that way it will showcase it. So I'll go ahead and choose this one inch pipe. And over here on the left under the route specification, I'll come over here and I'll choose my template. 
Now you can see that I have three different templates because I had a default and a schedule 40 already. And then now I see this new PVC pipe and we'll click okay to this message. Now I'll go through and make the necessary changes to my pipe. And when I go back up to the top level, I can see now that I get this nice little PVC pipe representation here on the model. This is Sean J. Wawrinski, and I hope you enjoyed this video on how to synchronize your routing library to use custom components in routing templates. Mm -hmm.